Here's the Enlightened Cook's method for the juiciest turkey ever. So I've got my organic, free-range bird, which we're going to brine. Why put an entire stick of butter on a turkey just to keep it moist when you can use a great trick? We're going to brine. It's easy. Take some cold water, put it in a heavy gauge plastic bag, and I'm going to take two handfuls of kosher salt. If you're going to use regular salt, use about a handful and a half. I'm going to mix it around. And simply put the bird in. I've already rinsed it, taken all the blood out, I've taken the gizzards out, and the neck. Pretty much take all the air out. And tie it up with a rubber band. Into the fridge it goes for two, two and a half, even three days. It won't get too salty because in the rest of the preparation, we're not going to use any salt. People are tempted to put all kinds of fancy herbs and spices into a brine, but the truth is the volatile oils in herbs and spices will only be admitted by another oil or steam. So just go with a plain old salt. We'll get to the herbs and spices later. Okay, so my bird's been brining for two, two and a half days. Let's take a look and see what we got in the bag. All right, and I'm just gonna lift her up and drain all the brining liquid. All right, just let it all go into the sink. A little rinse is good. It's normal to see a little bit of um, blood in the water. You don't worry about that. As long as your bird is still smelling really fresh, you're good to go. I would say. Just put that baby in a little beach towel. Let him drain. So this year I decided to go with tarragon, juniper, parsley, and leeks. And all of that I'm going to chop up and put under the skin. So here we go. I've already washed my leeks very carefully because it does seem to get a bit of mud in there. And you want to use only the really light green parts. I'm going to chop the leeks very, very finely. Really mince them so that after they've roasted for a couple hours under the skin of that turkey, they're practically going to disintegrate. So if I do this little shortcut, it'll get that mince going a lot quicker. I'm going to strip the leaves off the stem. And I'll save these for my gravy. For my 10 pound bird, I'm going to use only two cloves of garlic. Because garlic's very strong, and we don't want to overwhelm the subtle taste of the turkey. So I'm going to chop the juniper berries just as finely as the spices, so that it actually just melts into the flesh. They're a bit more coarse than the herbs are, so you've got to be more persistent. It smells divinely like gin. So last but not least, the subtle green flavor of parsley and plenty of it. I like to use broadleaf parsley. Then mixing it all together. Now I'm going to put lots of fresh ground pepper. 
lots of it. So just keep going and going and going. So for this brilliant technique, or should I say enlightened technique, we're gonna cook it very differently. We can take our pan, fill it with some water, slide that in. It's okay to be on the bottom of the oven. On the first rack is better if you've got a larger oven. And then take the top rack out and set the temperature a lot higher than you normally would. And then, since we're going to put the bird right on the rack, we're going to oil that rack just a little bit. So I've got a little bit of coconut oil on the rack. Do it really well. Do it wide. And this will kind of help us hope that the skin doesn't tear. So the secret to a flavorful bird is not to put the spices on top but to put the spices where they're really going to saturate into the flesh of the bird. So very carefully, what you want to do is take your fingers and loosen the skin between the bird, the bird's skin, and its flesh. Very carefully, try not to poke any holes. All around every side of the bird. Down onto the leg. and turn it over and do it on the other side and from the other end. So now I've got all my spices mixed up. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to take it really carefully. It's the messy part. Stuff it way under the skin and use lots of it. Now I'm going to flip the bird and do the other side. Way down into the wing. It's a little hard to get in there. It's all right. You want to make sure you get really good coverage over that breast. That's a part that always tends to get a little bit dry. My plan was to put a metal insert into the bird so that I could cook it a lot faster. They're kind of silo shaped, they're really brilliant. I don't love that they're non-stick, but in this case I was willing to deal with it. But it didn't get here on time, so necessity is a mother invention and I have actually tried this at my folks house, it works. If you put anything metal through the cavity, it's going to conduct the heat and it's going to make that bird cook a lot faster. Less cooking time means a more moist bird. So we've done lots to up that, that moisture in the bird. We didn't add fat, but we brined. We put lots of herbs, they have moisture too, and this is the trick. So you want to make sure that you use something that is all metal, no plastic. This is the wrong one. Nothing with plastic at all. You don't want petroleum in your food. So this is entirely metal, it's stainless steel. These tongs, they'll work too. This one, no way, it's got a plastic handle. These, I think I'm gonna save for mashing my potatoes. This whisk, that will work. So we've got three. Let's go with the whisk first. I'm gonna put it way into the bird, as far as I can. I know, this is crazy. And then I'm going to take 
my tongs, put those in the bird too, and then let's go from the other end. I'm going to take this and put it right inside. Put them as close as I can, and then guess what? It helps me lift the bird too. Pretty handy. All right then. So then, the only thing we've got left to do is to tie that bird up. And we're going to use a lot of twine. Take more than you need. It's unwaxed twine. I'm going to wet it first, just a little bit. Find my halfway point. Start in the middle. It's really actually quite easy. Up. Cross. Cross again. And turn them over. So you want those wings to be included in your little loop there. And tie it super tight. Now, I can go back down. Grab the legs. Cross them. And just tie it up. Easy. Nice little bow. And I can snip off a little bit of the extra. And then, follow me, we're going to go right to the oven. Here's the crazy part. Here we go. Now, I'm steaming. And here's the sound that you want. Okay? You want that rack to be good and hot. Before it goes in, slide that baby in. Make sure that all around you've got a water bath. And just close it up and walk away. this presentation of the Enlightened Cook, how to make an organic turkey, brined, herbed, and deliciously moist. Enlightened.